Hello, my name is Barry Foss. I'm the Operations Manager at the State PPE and C Management Centre. I'm here today at the Expo to talk about four of our projects currently uh, underway or have just been completed. Um, we're starting off today looking at our concept wildfire garment. Uh, this project has been going on for about six months with a series of testing of fabrics uh, both overseas and internally and uh, we've also conducted some mannequin testing over in uh, Alberta, Canada with uh, full design garments in conjunction with AFAC. This current garment we see here today has got some features uh, that we've uh, incorporated based on feedback from our uh, volunteer and career staff over a number of years. Importantly, things like radio pockets, the identification on the front, more pocket designs, articulated arms on the garment, additional padding down below for the knees when you're actually kneeling. This is only a concept design. We are still to determine uh, which fabric we would select. Eventually we'll go out to wearer trials and from that we will make a, a selection of garment. The next uh, project we'll talk about is the station wear or field wear. Uh, over the last two to three years we've rolled out uh, station wear to our career staff at uh, our integrated fire stations and uh, we're now moving into operations officers, operations managers and other career staff. Uh, ultimately we believe that uh, we'll look at a single uniform design for CFA for workwear and uh, it will form this particular type of garment. So we see here a cargo trouser with a, a shirt. Uh, this fabric is a Nomex viscose fabric. It is an FR fabric. Uh, it is a very breathable fabric which makes it more comfortable for people to wear. You can see here that we've incorporated the fire rescue uh, embroidery on here so we can distinguish ourselves from uh, other agencies who have similar garments. Uh, there's a range of other uh, equipment that comes with this particular field wear. Uh, new uh, wide brim hat, a polar fleece jacket and a new baseball cap with the uh, red and white checker logo. Uh, there's also a, uh, a beanie that uh, forms part of the uniform as well. So we're continuing to work with uh, VFBV in, uh, in designing a, or a, getting a concept up for what uh, volunteer uh, members may be provided with into the future. Our next project is the, the Type 2 firefighting boots, the structural boots. We've recently uh, undergone tenders for boots and two boots have now been selected to replace the, the Taipan boot. The one here on my left is the, the Magnum Fire Shield and the one on my right is the Oliver 33 Correction 66395 boot. Uh, both Type 2 boots, both available at State Logistics Centre for both our career staff and uh, volunteer members. Both of these boots were selected from a field trial process uh, as well as the other tender requirements. So we believe we've got uh, good products out there for our members. The last product that we want to talk about today is the Helmet Torch Project. CFA has over 40,000 uh, wildfire accredited firefighters. We had many helmets out in the field that did not have the, the helmet torch brackets attached. What we've done over the past six to 12 months is have these uh, brackets fitted either by our own fitters or volunteer brigades have offered to self-fit these brackets. And we've fitted around about uh, 16 to 17,000 uh, helmet torch brackets. After that's done, we will then issue torches to bushfire fighting appliances. These packs of either five or three will be placed on bushfire fighting appliances and will be available for members to uh, take a torch, place it on their helmet when, they, when they're uh, required and uh, then place back in the vehicle when they're finished. 